Hi, it's Molly and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I am not in my living room. I am in gorgeous Las Vegas. So I tend to do more natural looks and I thought because I'm in Vegas, I would go for a more dramatic look. So this is a gray smoky eye tutorial. It is very redhead friendly. Let's just get started. I always like to start with an eye primer because I feel like they make my eyeshadows go on more intensely and last longer without creasing. And then I'm going to add a cream shadow all over the lid and I'm just going to smudge it with my finger into the skin. Don't worry about this being nice and neat because we are going to go over the edges with a brush in just a minute. Adding a little bit of wine or purple into your eyeshadow makes gray much more wearable for redheads. Now I'm going to use a small crease brush just to get under my eye which requires a little bit more precision and I'll take that brush up and just blend out the edges of the cream shadow across my lid as well. Whatever brand of crease brush you're using just make sure that the bristles are synthetic as we're working with a cream product and if you use natural hair they will wilt a little bit and they won't remain as stiff as the synthetic bristles. I'm using a fluffier crease brush now and a shade that is about one or two shades deeper than my natural skin tone and warmer and a little bit peachy to do a transition shade which will help blend out the darker gray shades we're going to be using. I'm using the small crease brush again that I cleaned off just to add a little bit of that peachy shade underneath my eyes as well. All right, time for the big kahuna. Let's smoke out this eye. I am using a small brush from Sonia Kashuk and I'm using that light gray with slightly violet undertone shadow. As you can see, I've also grabbed a tissue because there will be some fallout with this and you don't want to ruin your foundation. So I'm just putting a little tissue weight under my eye to catch any shadow that falls down. And I'm gently pressing that gray shadow into the cream shadow that we applied before over the lid. Now I'm going to start using the top of the brush which has a slightly domed bristle that's a little bit more pointed to bring that shadow out into a V for a smoky effect. And as you can see, we didn't put the cream shadow into that V because I do prefer to have my edges be a little bit softer. If you wanna have a darker smoke, you can bring the cream shadow out into that V, but I prefer things to be a little bit softer. And I'm gonna take some shadow underneath my eye as well and then continue to work that V until it's nice and even. I'm using a clean tissue here to clean up the edges of that V so it's a little bit more neat and precise. I'm using the fluffy crease brush again with no additional product on it to blend the gray and peach shade so there isn't a harsh line between the two. I'm just using a windshield wiper motion to go back and forth to really blend out that line.
I'm using a super rich black eyeliner from Arden Zien that I love because it does stay in your waterline and I'm lining both the inside and the top part of my eye. Don't worry about getting that liner too precise because we are about to smudge it out. Now we're going to smudge out that shadow, so grab a little bit of the black color onto a smudge brush, get that tissue back up to prevent any fallout from getting on your cheeks, and just start to smudge out that liner gently to give it a softer effect. To brighten up the inner corners of my eye now, I'm going to take a little bit of the matte white eyeshadow from the kit and just using my ring finger I'm going to dab that onto the inner corners of my eye. And then I'm going to grab a large fluffier crease brush from Sonia Kashuk and just blend that shadow out so that my eyes look bright but you don't see that it, there is any eyeshadow there. Time to finish off the look with lashes and mascara. This is my favorite style from the Girl Get Glamorous Lashes called Boss Lady. I'm applying just a thin stripe of glue along the edge and while I'm waiting for that to dry, I like to do my mascara. Doing the mascara first gives the lashes a little something to stick to, but minimal mascara gets on the lashes so that you can reuse them. I've worn this pair of lashes now at least 30 times. I place my lashes down in the center first, as close to the skin and lashes as I can without getting it right on the lashes, and then I pull down the outside corner and then the inside corner. Then I flip my tweezers over and use the rounded edge to really press the seam into my lashes so that they become seamless. I did forget my lash curler at home, so I'm just using my fingers to gently press the falsies and my natural lashes together to blend them a little bit better. Once the glue has set, you can go back over the base of the lashes with a little bit more eyeliner and then smudge that out with powder just to make the lashes again look a little bit more seamless. I'm going to finish off the look with a natural lip liner and a nude lipstick. I'm using the NYX lip liner in natural and I'm going to be using the Revlon Honey Bear as my lipstick. It's a really nice sheer nude, great for redheads. Because my hair is already done, I'm just going to use a towel to protect the edges and use a little bit of setting spray to make sure that this eye look and the rest of my makeup stays in place. Here is the finished look. I'm going to zoom in one more time so you can see everything a little bit closer. Thank you so much for watching uh, and I thought it would be fun because I'm in Las Vegas if you would leave me if you want to leave me in the comments a fun Vegas story because I feel like most people have been to Vegas 
So if you have a really fun story, leave it for me in the comments. I would love to read it. Uh, I love people's crazy baby stories. It's so fun. So thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. You can go check out the blog at girlgetglamorous.com. And I will see you in the next video.